We can have a look at the default behavior of the breadcrumb in uh, WooCommerce. So normally what happens when you, after doing a default install, you'll head over to a product. You have your breadcrumb for your product. You click on the home page and you end up at the home page of the website. What we want to do now is adjust the breadcrumb so that we get redirected to the shop home page. So this home is the website home. We want to change that to the shop home. To do that, head over to the snippets and you'll see here that we have two parts. The first part is what the person will see in that breadcrumb link. So the first part is a filter and what it does is it changes the array value of the default home and you can then insert whatever you want there. In this case, I've just called it shop home. Um, and then it returns the defaults. And then using the filter WooCommerce breadcrumb defaults, it updates the defaults for the, um, for the breadcrumb. The second one then adds a link to that default. So in the second one is another filter. And this filter looks at the WooCommerce breadcrumb home URL. And what we're basically doing here now is this um a filter all we need to do is return and we say get the permalink of the woocommerce get page id shop and that gets us the default um shop home page so to demonstrate how that works i'm going to set, activate that snippet save changes and activate head over to the website and now you'll see here that my shop is called shop everything is shop and now when i go and look at a product you'll see now that it says shop home i click on shop home and i'm re redirected now to the shop home page and not to the website home page so that's how you can correct that default value if your shop page is not the home page of your website hope you found that useful thank you for watching the code is in the first comment below the video